Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Bitcoin has been rocketing in price, in particular over the last 24 hours or so, as by now I'm sure the vast majority of you are well aware. But you may be wondering, what about the rest of the market? What, what, what about XRP? Well, I'm going to share with you perspective from one of the most, um, most followed chart analysts within the XRP community, who says that XRP is about to eliminate price resistance, and he sets a short-term target for six, uh, of 66 cents. I'll give you a specific uh, comment with full context. Now, I'll just say this. Now, I am, I don't pretend to be a chart guy. A lot of, <laughs> there are so many laughable uh, YouTubers out there who uh, like to pretend as though they are such. <laughs> I was like, just be real. If you don't know this stuff, you don't know this stuff. Just be who you actually are, damn it. Um, I have no interest in learning the chart analyst stuff. Uh, I just I just like to take the lazy man's approach because, frankly, it works. It just freaking works, which is just buy stuff and then don't do anything and don't let emotions get to you. It's it's simple. We don't need to overcomplicate this stuff. But, um, you know, I, I like taking that approach. And so, regardless, I can tell you my conviction is that Bitcoin is going to continue to lead the way. It doesn't go up in a straight line, but it's going to continue to lead the way, ultimately hitting a new all-time high. XRP will ultimately... Uh, blast off, and we don't know exactly what day that's going to be. We'll see it move in correlation with Bitcoin, broadly speaking, until then, obviously. Not down to the second, the minute, the day, the week, necessarily, although frequently that is the case. But one day we're just going to wake off and psh, XRP is going to be off to the races, just like we saw with Bitcoin over the last 24 hours. We didn't know for sure it was going to happen, did we? But it did happen, which is why I've said so many times, it's just, you don't know what day it's going to be, but you're going to wake up and bam, it's going to be... Well, the same thing's going to happen with XRP. And so this particular analyst believes that uh, we can absolutely eliminate price resistance and move on up to the upside. And I'll tell you, some of, the biggest, some of the biggest news that's going to drop, which I think is going to be in the coming months, I don't know exactly, there's no way I could know, but it's approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF. And I have gigantic news on that front because it looks to me like BlackRock is about 100% certain that they're going to get approved for this damn spot Bitcoin ETF. I mean, they're sure acting like they already got approved. Take a look at this headline. This is actually gigantic news here, as far as I'm concerned here. Some people say don't read into this, but I'm just like, well, why are they behaving like this then? They're the most connected firm, you know, on the entire damn planet. They're the largest asset manager uh, manager in the world. 10 trillion in assets under management. Uh, here's a headline from the block. BlackRock's spot Bitcoin ETF appears on DTCC website with ticker IBTC. So yes, that's correct. The Black the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF is now listed on a NASDAQ clearing firm. Uh, clearing firm website. Um, before going either, uh, further and sharing with you additional thoughts, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I see or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Uh, here's a headline from Coindesk. A wild few minutes drive Bitcoin above $35,000 as ETF excitement starts to thaw the crypto winter. It was exciting enough for crypto observers when Bitcoin topped $31,000 on Monday. And then its price went straight up. Late in the day, Bitcoin took out $32,000, then $33,000, then $34,000, and finally $35,000 in just a few minutes. Perpetual contracts listed on Binance's exchange almost topped $36,000. The original cryptocurrency was back at levels last seen in May 2022 before the Terra Luna Three Arrows Capital, Genesis, and FTX debacles turned the mood so sour that Bitcoin approached $15,000 and the very survival of the industry was, to some, called into question. Now, folks, that's a bit dramatic for my taste. Maybe some people actually thought that, but those are people that I would describe as idiots because they don't know what in the ever-loving hell they're talking about. <laughs> if you just... like. I, how, if you could just simply understand that there are business models, valuable business models, that exist, that could not exist but for this technology, you would know right there. The, the, the crypto asset class isn't going to cease to exist. That's complete and utter nonsense. So it seems a bit dramatic to me. As far as the, the price action, yeah, it's volatile. And I guess it's fair to say that can be perceived as dramatic by many people. Okay, sure. That's, I guess that part's fair. But, but the asset, the survival of the industry... <laughs> That's a bit much. That is a bit much here. 
as is this next part, because all this ETF talk, look, I do believe that it's going to be gigantic. In fact, I believe it's hard to overstate the importance of a spot Bitcoin ETF getting approved if you're talking about the implications for the entire asset class, in particular, over a longer period of time, five years, 10 years, you know, 20 years out. The amount of money that will go into the space that otherwise wouldn't, uh, it's, it's unknowable, but undoubtedly it's going to be gigantic. I mean, you're talking about trillions of dollars, ultimately. Um, but anyway, the piece says here, but the mood has improved markedly, fueled largely by prospects that Bitcoin ETFs, which promoters say will make it dramatically easier to buy Bitcoin, potentially hugely broadening the pool of potential investors, are on the way. Yeah, and so look, I think it's a virtual certainty that those are on the way here. But, you know, I, I don't think that the price action that we just saw is an indication of that. It, it, because we've known that BlackRock has been going for this spot Bitcoin ETF for over four months now, actually. And so what? We People just woke up four months later and like, oh, yeah, BlackRock, let's all just start th th throwing money into this, this crypto asset class. And so now it's priced it. No, that's the silliest nonsense. But as far as XRP, because look, it, it's nice to see that XRP did move in tandem with Bitcoin, which is what you would generally expect. And, and yeah, it was Bitcoin's day. That, that's fine. I don't mind that. But eventually, XRP is going to go. And there's never been an XRP all-time high outside of market euphoria with Bitcoin leading the way. That's never happened in history. So I'm counting on Bitcoin leading the way and then XRP going. And I, I fully anticipate that a lot of people are going to make life-changing wealth as a result of this. I believe that's on the table very firmly. So what's the next step look like? Well, here you have perspective. And this is from actually just a, a couple hours or so ago from um, XRP community member and chart analyst Dark Defender, uh, now up to 95,200 followers. And he says, morning all. And this is, by the way, it's just at 1.58 a.m. Central Time, which happens to be my time zone. Morning all. XRP has broken the 52 cent uh, in four hour time frame. It was one of the crucial resistances. Daily time frame has the resistance at 55 cents, but XRP will eliminate it soon. Next target, 66 cents. I hope you have a great day. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Defender. I'm having, a, I'm having a fantastic day so far. Hope you are too. Um, and so XRP did get uh, just a hair over 55 cents when uh, along the way was as Bitcoin was leading up to its peak. But the show's just getting started here. I mean, there's, there's no shortage of analysts that have been calling for this type of activity. And the ones that I respect and follow closely, I've been sharing what they've been saying leading up to this. And then wouldn't you know what actually happened? Multiple analysts uh, saying fairly similar things. And they believe that this is just the beginning. So even, it doesn't mean that it's all going to happen once or the same day. And there can be gaps. It could be days or weeks in between. But the point is, like, the seal has been broken. And at some point, <laughs> you know, Bitcoin's going to have another massive run. And with XRP moving in tandem, just don't be surprised to see this. So XRP will keep behaving like that in all likelihood. And then at some point, it's going to have its own run. And I don't pretend to know if it's this year or next year, but it's going to come. As far as I'm concerned, it's a virtual inevitability. And yes, I could be wrong and it could go to zero. I know that too. I'm not making a price prediction. But in terms of what I suppose is most probable, yeah. I, I, my, my strong suspicion, because I, and I have strong conviction for a reason, yeah, XRP is going to a new all-time high and entering price discovery. I mean, if you just understand the, the implications of what's happening with this Bitcoin spot ETF, it's, it's just, there's a reason I keep talking about this, and I, I, I'm gleeful in covering this news, even though it's Bitcoin specific. So what? If, even if you don't care about Bitcoin, even if you don't hold it, you should be thrilled about this news, even if you only hold XRP. So here, the headline here from the block, BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF appears on DTCC website with ticker IBTC. BlackRock's highly anticipated spot Bitcoin ETF, the iShares Bitcoin Trust, has made an appearance on a list maintained by the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, which NASDAQ says provides post-trade clearance, settlement, custody, and information services. While still awaiting approval from the Securities and Exchange Commission, along with other proposed spot Bitcoin funds, the DTCC lists the BlackRock Fund's ticker as IBTC. And here's a quote from uh, Bloomberg senior ETF analyst Eric Balkunas. He, he wrote the following on social media platform X. Quote, this is first spot coin ETF listed on DTCC. None of the others on there yet, 
end quote. And then he separately said, Def notable, BlackRock is leading charge on these logistics, seeding, ticker, DTCC, that tend to happen just prior to launch. Hard not to view this as them getting signal that approval is certain slash imminent. Yeah, and so taking that a step further, um, and it may be imminent, we'll find out, because look, we're all living through history together, we'll, we'll all find out together when it, when it gets approved, whether it's this year or early next year, whatever it is. But I've maintained for a long time that my very strong suspicion is that the reason BlackRock fi filed the spot Bitcoin ETF is because they already knew what the outcome would be. They have filed for 576 ETFs in history. That's it, five. That's a lot, actually. 576, and all but one of them were approved. And that one that wasn't approved, my understanding is it was basically something tantamount to a clerical error. But, but so one failure. They don't make these moves if they don't know what's going to happen, and they are the most connected firm of their type in existence in the history of our species. So yeah. I suspect that's the case. And if they're making this type of move, I mean, is it really a cart before the horse type of thing? Or might they know exactly what's going to happen? And so we're still here before every, almost everybody else on the planet. There's almost no humans that hold any crypto. Uh, the vast majority of investment firms that exist have no exposure to crypto whatsoever. We have beat the masses. This is rare. Stuff like this doesn't happen, yet it is. The, in, the, the opportunity, that's why I keep saying it's, almost impossible to overstate the impact over time. And so we'll see what the, uh, once this news breaks, once there, once it's it's a sure thing, and maybe maybe it will be a bunch of spot Bitcoin uh, ETFs that get approved from different firms. Maybe it's not just BlackRock that gets approved. Maybe it's a bunch all at the same time. Maybe. Either either way, however, however it breaks out, I, I just, I think you're going to see a massive run with the biggest implications coming over a prolonged period of time. But we, uh, I, I just, I do not believe, even with the run that just happened over the last 24 hours for Bitcoin, I simply do not believe that we have, uh, you know, the price action for a spot Bitcoin ETF priced in. Even if you could find anecdotally humans that say, yeah, I bought Bitcoin for this specific reason, I'd believe that. But on the whole, is, is it priced in? No, I think you're going to see this thing run when the news breaks. It's not a buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing. That's my guess anyway, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, but look, we just saw on October 16th, when, when the Cointelegraph put out fake news about this happening, uh, we, f we had proof right then that it wasn't priced in, despite what some of the, uh, you know, the wizards out there would have you believe, because there's so many uh, claiming, no, it's, it, it's, it's, oh, it has to be priced in. Everybody knows about this. But no, because Bitcoin ran on the fake news that was believed to be true until it was found out that it was actually just false, you know, fake news. So I think it's the same thing here. Otherwise, are you, are you really going to sell me on the idea that after four months of it being known publicly that BlackRock's going for the spot Bitcoin ETF, after four months out of the blue, everyone's like, oh yeah, BlackRock, now let's just start, just start buying Bitcoin now because ETF news. What? No, that sounds completely absurd. Uh, take a look at this though. Um, attorney Jeremy Hogan was sharing this news also, and he had a funny response I thought I'd share with you. He said, the Bitcoin ETF listing on NASDAQ is only evidence of BlackRock's confidence that its ETF will be approved by the SEC. It's like cleaning up your bedroom and making sure your roomie is out of the apartment all night. It might not happen this date, but you got a good feeling. So it's like, okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a proper comparison here. And then Tony Rispoli jumped in, adding to it, and he said, I'd feel a lot more confident if BlackRock put a sock on the doorknob as well. <laughs> Well played, attorney. Anyway, it made me laugh, so I thought I'd share it, share it with you. And so, so yeah, I mean, it, it does speak to the degree of confidence. But again, with the connections these people have, I, I think that, you know, it's basically like they got a cheat sheet. They, they know what's happening here, son. Like, I can't imagine this not getting, I'd be shocked if this, this thing didn't get approved. And so we're here first. That's why I've made moves that I've made recently uh, before this news is broken in terms of purchasing more crypto. Because when it goes, it goes. It, it just will. Let me know what you think. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.